Uh, so I kind to want kind of want to ask, um, is the one six community, why is it worth investing in? And kind of the way I want to phrase this question is, why do we really do this at all, right? Why do we invest our time to contribute something to the community? Like, why does Kiko take photos and post them? Why does he post the videos that help people about purchasing, about reissues, about informing people, about, you know, collecting in general? Why um, you know, do we value so much like what Carlos has done in terms of like a place for collecting, stuff like that? Why is the one six community worth investing in? Like everyone in the chat that we've made such good friends with, like why should they invest their time in us or in each other? Um, I think community is a big part of why we collect. So I'm interested in hearing what, where you guys are on that and in terms of how much that influences your own collecting and why you stay in collecting. So um, I'll actually start with you, Kiko, on this one first. Um, why is the community for one six worth investing in? It's the word, word you just said, it's community. And yeah. I, without trying to get all sappy and stuff, like <laughs> I, I'm glad I've met you. And yeah. you know, I'm glad that, you know, from just, yeah finding somebody on an Instagram and starting to chat with them and then seeing them in person, like at a convention. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, in this world where mass communication is out there and you can communicate with people across the world, different time zones, that's cool. And overall, I mean, there's lots of toxic communities that you could be a part of and such out there. But I do think that the one six community is yeah, there's the bad apples, obviously, with anything. There's just no way escaping that. But I think a majority of people are just deep down nerds. And a majority of people have always said it's the nerdy people that are the nicest people and the most successful people because they have this empath, you know, part of their personality and such. And a majority of the people in these communities, as I said, there are the bad apples, so we don't need to point at all of them. Um, but there are it's a good amount of people to see and it's really cool when you can communicate back and forth and have a place for collecting, no pun intended. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And I love that we can share opinions. We can disagree and that's a good thing. And I love dialogue. I love being able to be a, not, not, not not like be a personality, but I love to kind of play a character sometimes like on these videos and streams and such like that. But this is who I am in real life as well. Yeah. But I get to kind of really put myself out there and this is who I am. This is who my friends get to associate with. And if I can build my cyber circle out of friends, that's fun. And I like doing that. Yeah, I think we all do like a YouTuber or not. I think we all like forming more connections. And like I said, I've invested a lot into it just because it's it's invested a lot into me. Like it's helped me improve my quality of life, my confidence, my uh, ability to step outside my comfort zone, my willingness to try new things. So I think it that's why it really expands our horizons. And that's why the community is so important without it. We wouldn't have feedback for you know anything that we uh, buy that we, we wouldn't be able to connect with other people about what we love. So I think that's why. But Carlos, what do you think, man? Like, wh what made you even create the group in the first place? Yeah. So, so for me, I, um, yeah, I think the community is super important. You know, uh, when I got into collecting, um, you know, I really didn't join Facebook groups. I just kind of wanted to collect on my own. And then once I got into groups, once I started understanding it, I, um, you know, met you, Kiko, and others alike. And I started noticing that the Facebook groups can be very toxic. And you know, you know me well. I'm sure yeah. Kiko and a lot of people in the chat know me. I'll just say things, and things don't really hit me as hard as you know maybe it might hit others. So I felt like, you know, um, you know, because you actually made an example, Will, where you were saying that you know uh, when it comes to collecting, I feel like a lot of us, not all of us, but a lot of us might be you know introverts. A lot of us, if you were to grab them and put them like at a bar or a club, like they would feel like you know not very comfortable in that situation, right? Uh, so collecting is a really nice, safe place for them where they can, you know, interact and be around people. So I wanted to create a group where those that might not do well or, or be able to see those toxic comments or the reason why they got into collecting to begin with was to escape all the bullshit. That's kind of really why I created to have a, a safe place for them. I mean, sometimes we all get a little bit out of line and that's going to happen. But for the most part, you know, that's that's really the, the main thing for the group is that. You know, you got into this to enjoy it and chances are you're probably an introvert and, you know, um, because we all basically are if we're collecting and you try to escape a lot of the bullshit that's going on outside and that group can really help you just get away from that. So that's really why I started it. And I wanted to make sure that those people that are nice to each other, um, that don't go and just say all this crazy, stupid shit left and right, um, that I wanted to make sure to show my thanks for being 
you know, that percentage or small percentage of the community that I've seen from like other and the other groups that don't go and have to disrespect in an uncivilized way. Right. So I try to really give back and, and you know, and, and do gift cards or, or figures just because that's a way of saying thank you for being respectful to one another. Right. Because you, you never know what that other person can be going through. Um, you know, and for that specific day or what's over a week or months and you telling them that that specific figure or their collection looks like dog shit or it's a whole the worst thing they've ever seen, then that's going to lead them down a specific, you know, a specific thing. It's one thing to critique a figure, but it's one thing to attack someone personally. And that's what I've seen a lot in the group. So that's one of the main reasons why I did mine. So, yeah, that makes sense, bro. Absolutely. Um, and like I said, the community, I think, feel like it's just such a big part of everyone's experience with this game. So. Uh, that is collecting. So yeah, man, great thoughts, guys, on that one.